So after last week, when I was talking to you all about how I create my social media bank, a few of you asked me the question, what apps do I use to do my scheduling? So I thought we need to talk about that this week. So for the purposes of this broadcast, I'm only going to talk about the ones that I have actually used. Why do we need to schedule our posts? And why is it important to be out there in the first place? Because we all know that it's important to be on social media. It's important for building those relationships with our customers. It's a fantastic way of helping our people get to know, like, and trust us. And we know that's essential for building a business. So this is why it's important to make sure you are using your social media. That said, I am aware that for a lot of people, trying to do this on a day, post on a daily basis is time consuming. And it actually takes up more, more of your time every day, if you try to do it every day, than if you do it once a month. So I want to talk to you about a few of them. Actually, before I go into a few of them, I just thought I'd give you a little fact. I did a quick, some quick research this morning on the internet and found website Witch50 has shown that the average Australian spends 100 minutes, yes, that's 100 minutes per day on social media. So if you stop and think about it, that's an hour and a half, just over an hour and a half every day of opportunity for you to connect with your people. Let's have a quick look at what apps are there. A quick Google search will tell you that there are hundreds of them. Hootsuite's the first one. It's one of the most popular options out there on the internet for posting to multiple channels. It can handle Facebook business pages, Facebook groups, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Twitter, Google Plus, and LinkedIn. So it, handle, it has the ability to handle just about everything that you're going to use on social media. Now, from memory, connecting my account wasn't that hard at all. It was actually quite easy and quite intuitive. It also allowed me to connect to other people's accounts so long as I was an admin on their pages. So it had those options. Uh, creating a draft was really quick and simple. And with the draft, you could then actually uh, tick boxes down the bottom and schedule it to whatever platforms you wanted to go to with the simple tick of tick, 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 and then schedule. So it was really quickly and it was really quick and easy once you created the post to send it out across multiple platforms. Now it is unfortunately a paid account, so it, depending on your budget, it may not be the best option for you. Hootsuite do at the moment. I was just looking this morning have 30 day trial options available where you get a free trial period to see how it, whether it would work for you, and then they do have plans starting from 39 Australian per month. Now another one that I actually use is Buffer. Now Buffer is fantastic for connecting accounts too. It connects to Facebook business pages, Facebook groups, Instagram and LinkedIn. So I personally just use it for LinkedIn at the minute because that's all I need it to do. And on a limited plan, you can actually get it for free. So you can, I think it, you can connect up to I think three accounts and get 30 posts per month for free. So I actually do use it for my uh, LinkedIn posts because it's free, it doesn't cost me anything extra and I'm already, I don't have to think then my LinkedIn post just goes out. And that's one thing I do like, I don't need to keep coming back and thinking about, oh, when was I supposed to do that? Because otherwise LinkedIn doesn't, as far as I'm aware, doesn't have an inbuilt ability to actually schedule. So this allows me to schedule to LinkedIn. Now, Buffer, uh, one of the features I do like about Buffer is the ability to set your time zone. Um, in there and then once you set your time zone you can actually go to each of the profiles you connect and select and set scheduling times for those pages or profiles or whatever and I find it's really good for doing that so that's really and with Instagram on the pro account you can actually include a co comment so if you if you like to keep your hashtag separate from the actual post that goes up on Instagram that is quite easy, easy to do inside of Buffer because you can include a comment on the pro account, which is the paid account. And their paid accounts start from about 15 US a month. However, a couple of drawbacks I did find with Buffer were uh, when I tried to connect 
client Facebook groups. I had no trouble connecting the client Facebook pages because I'm an admin on the page and it was quite easy to do. But connecting, I found connecting client Facebook groups was a bit funny, but I did also find that when you emailed their customer support because there's no phone number, it was hit and miss as to whether you did get a reply from them. So the customer support wasn't the greatest, but the program itself, when it's working well, it is a fantastic program. Now that brings me to what I actually use now to program schedule to my Facebook page, my business page, my Instagram feed and IGTV. Yes, with this app, you can actually schedule to IGTV because as you will have learned by now, scheduling to IGTV can be difficult. You've got to actually do it from a computer. You can't do it from within the app on your phone. You've got to do it from a computer. So do it with this app that I'm about to tell you about. It's free. And the best thing about it is if you've got a Facebook business page, you've already got access to this app. It's automatically included in your Facebook business page. And it's called Facebook Creator Studio. And it does only do Facebook business pages, Instagram feed, and IGTV. So it only does do the three things. But for me, that's perfect. And that's what I need. And it's free to use. So why wouldn't you use it? It's built into Facebook. It's built into your business page, so you've got access to it. Use it. And the thing I do love the most about Facebook Creator Studio is because it's been developed by Facebook, you get access to the insights to any page that you are an admin on inside of that program. So as you know, I manage social media for a couple of people. So I'm able to automatically, because I'm an admin on their pages, it, Facebook Creator Studio automatically it includes their, prof their pages on my account. So I don't even have to try and connect to other people's accounts when I'm trying to manage their social media. It's there, it's free to use, it's automatic. There's no limit on how many posts you can schedule that I'm aware of. Um, as you know, I do about a month at a time for each of my customers. So that's well over a hundred posts a month I am pre-scheduling. We're getting close to 200 posts a month, I think. I'm not sure I haven't counted it lately. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pre-scheduling through Creator Studio. And I also do like the fact that when you're posting to the to Instagram, there is a little button down the bottom that says if you you can it says post to page. So you can actually cross post whatever you post to Instagram. If you do the Instagram post first, you can tick the little button and it will cross post to your business page for you at the same time. Now the only drawback I have of this particular scheduling tool is the fact it doesn't do Facebook groups. So if you want to do Facebook groups, you may want to look at some of the other options I have mentioned for the simple reason of ease. But that said, Facebook has inbuilt in and of itself, in each, into itself, a scheduling tool. So all I do, because I don't have a lot of groups to go to at the minute, all I do is I just go to the groups and I schedule inside of the group using Facebook's built-in scheduling feature. So that's it. So I hope this is helpful for you. If you've got any questions, I have put my diary link at the top of the post for you. So that if you've got any questions, you can book a free 30 minute chat with me and I will help get you started in the right direction. Because in all honesty, I can't talk enough about scheduling your posts. It frees you up to do so much more. It saves you time, it saves you stress because you know it's done, it's going out, you don't have to think about it. And as you know, I love my scheduling. I can't recommend it highly enough that you do. And, so, and these apps, they do make it easy for you to do it ahead of time. Now, the one caveat I will say to that is just don't go and jump on any app bandwagon. Make sure you read its features, what it does. See if it's got a free trial period so you can actually see if it works for you. So make sure you do all of that because what you, what you need to post to and what I need to post to could be two completely different things. So you will need to check and make sure that the app that you choose is going to use and rec or be and do basically what you need to do. So make sure before you start paying money for an app that you take advantage of any free trials they've got to really test out to make sure that it does what you need it to do. But that, other than that, that's my seven tip for this week. And I'll be back next week with another one. Bye for now.